What do you think about the standards of the cases in the exam? Many of the cases are multi-layered so that it will test the candidate from being able to recognise a basic abnormality to exploring how they would develop that investigation, what they would do next. So for example, some of the plain films are reasonably straightforward, some are more difficult. CT and MR, I think all trainees do CT and MR, so they find that a bit easier. With some of the plain films, they may not do much plain film work. On the other hand, that it is an important part in some areas, and you can't have all CT and MR because not everybody has great access to it, and we all have access to plain films. So we produce a range of material and do it that way. These are good general cases, they vary in standard, so some of them are reasonably straightforward, that helps the candidate relax, it makes them uh, perform better I think when they know it's reasonably straightforward, but then there are more discriminating uh, questions where the observation may be straightforward but trying to work out what it is is more difficult and then we ask them patient safety questions, so for example they may know what a condition is, but do they know that it's important, do they know what test to do next, or perhaps what test not to do where it may make them worse for example. So those candidates who are exceptional will give us more information than those candidates who are just able to say well this is abnormal and I would do this. So I think that's what we, we try and do is have a range of material, a range of questions and, and try and produce uh, a good comprehensive assessment of their radiological knowledge. Knowledge content is just knowledge. But the oral part is more related with, obviously, knowledge, but competences and the way they approach the cases. So for us, it's very important to see how they approach the, the diagnostic process, not only just uh, having uh, or talking about information taken from the images, uh, to know from them that how they approach the process and the whole diagnostic process, I think it's very important. Because when they are facing patient problems, we're not facing just knowledge, we're facing also uh, the way that the competences are applied.